all, Marco. You know, everybody thinks that it's cool to have a big old jacked up truck. And to tell you the truth, it is cool. But there's one problem, getting in and out of these things. All right, that ain't easy. It don't matter how tall you are or if you're a vertically challenged fella such as myself. It is hard to get into a jacked up truck. So today, me and Bobby is going to make different inventions to get us in to a jacked up truck. All right, so the first method that I'm gonna use to try to get in my jacked up truck is these moon boots right here that my mama got me for Christmas. Now, uh, I have yet to bounce to the moon and these bad boys, but I feel like it should be able to get me in that truck right there. That was a mini jump. I ain't using all my energy, all right? All right, so first thing, hey, look, look here. I ain't been able to ever do that. I had to get Bobby or I had to climb up on the car to get the door handle open. All right, I can do that, my moon boots. Okay, we there. Now, let's see if I can jump myself into the truck. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, feel it about. Oh yeah, I got it. Oh, I ain't got nothing to put my darn boots on. All right, dang it. Okay, Woo, look at that. Oh yeah, that was simple. That was simple. Uh, yeah. My first time's charm with the old moon boot. That was too much work. And how am I even gonna press the gas with these boots on? So you know what, I really didn't think about that. I just thought, hey, I can bounce real high and get into the truck. So uh, yeah, no, nah, one out of 10 on the moon boots. I'm not, not functional. All right, so since the moon boots did not work at all, uh, this next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these wooden dowels right here and we're gonna cut them in half. Apparently, my hen thinks this is a great idea. Hey, will you shut it? Somebody done had an egg. All right, so as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by my hen, we're going to make ourselves a rope ladder, and we're going to attach it to the driver's side of my truck. What we're going to do is we're going to cut these dowels in half right here, and I'm going to run some rope through it, and then we're going to attach it right there at the door, uh, you know, inside, and that way when I want to get in the truck, I just open the door. I roll that ladder down, and I climb on up that sucker. And then when I want to get out, I open the door, I roll it back down. I shimmy on back down. It's that simple. Or at least that sounds that simple. It never is that simple. All right. I need 18 inches. It's getting warm. You will see me gradually strip clothes off because it's getting hot. Okay, one's a little shorter than the other. That's all right. No big deal. That darn chicken. All right, now that I have my dowels cut, we're going to punch some holes through these bad boys so I can insert my rope and make my rope ladder. Now, I just want everybody to know that around here, we don't do precise measurements, all right? That's for nerds, okay? Like, we just kind of guesstimate. Uh, it, it's more fun that way. All right, I have drilled my hose through my wooden dowels. Now we're going to take our rope and we're going to make ourselves a rope ladder. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you my rope ladder. Yep, made it myself. Uh, I now see that my steps ain't even, you know, like the spaces between them. I got like a foot and a half between the bottom two, and then I got like four feet between these top two. It's all right. Yeah, it'll still work. Let's go give it a shot. Try it out. It's got to be better than just trying to climb up the tar, grab onto the step side, and then jump to the steering wheel and hang to pull myself in. Like, this, this has got to be better than that. I hope it's better than that. All right, let's get in my truck. So I didn't account for the fact that that ladder was going to swing up under that truck. And I just about busted my head. Woo! Let's try that again. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. All right. If I step up. <laughs> nope. Nope. 
All right, I think it's my fault more than it's the ladder, okay? It ain't the ladder, it's just I ain't really ever climbed a rope ladder. Or I have, it's just been a long time. Let's try it again. All right, so let's put a weight right there. He failed recess. Shut up. This is hard. Okay. All right. All right. It ain't going to work the way I thought it was. It's going to be tough, all right? It's going to be tough. Okay. Okay. We're going to play that game. <laughs> <laughs> How much money was you going to put on that? Shut up. Ah, Look at that face, weird. folks. Look how red he is. He's so wore out right now. Now, I know y'all watching probably like, oh, man, that's easy. That's a rope ladder. I am an athlete. Look at me. I am in top physical condition. That is not easy. Here's the problem. When I go to put my foot up on this in here, I really ain't got nowhere to grab. And what's going to happen is I'm worried that my leg is going to do this, and I'm going to go swing out. I'm going to give it one more attempt. Okay. First step right there. Okay. I ain't got nothing to grab to right there. That's the problem. I didn't really think about that. I can grab, oh, I can't grab that. But you're saying, it. but you're saying it ain't your fault. Shut up, Bobby. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, now. Okay, now that I'm on the second step, this thing got easier. I just had to get past that first. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at that. See, it did work. Now I will say. That it, I had to work harder to get in here on the rope ladder than I do just have to climb up tire and truck. So I'm gonna say my rope ladder is an epic fail. Okay, so the moon boots was an epic fail. The rope ladder worked well, but I've decided that I don't want to have to work that hard to get in and out of my truck. Like I felt like I was on American Ninja Warrior trying to climb up and down that ladder. You know, I was getting out of breath. That's a lot of cardio just to get in and out of a truck. So me and Bobby decided that the coolest, most efficient way to get into that big old jacked up truck is a winch, okay? Now, the top of that truck is about 15 foot high. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this winch and we're gonna put it on the top of that truck and we're gonna strap her down somehow. I mean, Bobby will fabricate something. He's, he's a redneck engineer. And what's going to happen is, when I want to get in that truck, I lower the winch cable down. I hook it to my belt loop. Then I hit the button. And it'll raise me up right there to the driver's side. Now I get on into the truck and take off. And when I want to get out of the truck, I open the door. I press that button. That winch cable will come on down. I strap myself back up to my belt loop. And drop myself back to the ground. Well, that's what I got planned. You know, in theory, I can see it. It works really good. But nothing ever turns out the way we plan on it turning out. So we're going to try it because I, I just think it'd be awesome. So we're going to give it a shot. All right, so we're going to mount the winch on here like so. And now, then, remember, my life's in his hands. And then right. we're going to cut a couple pieces of angle iron like so, like so. We're going to put our pulley out here. This is gonna hang over the side of the vehicle with our cable. And so all 133 pounds of him, 200, is gonna be supported by this. <laughs> Pure muscle. So we're gonna see if my welds can hold up. 5% body fat. Yeah, his life's in my hands. <laughs> yeah, he enjoys that. I do. All right, so as y'all can see, we're installing the winch to the top of the monster truck. Now, in theory, you know, and this is what's in mine and Bobby's head, is what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this winch up here uh, with some two by sixes and some ratchet straps. You know, because we love ratchet straps. We have held many a thing together with ratchet straps that shouldn't have been held together in the first place with anything else. Bobby, do you think anything could go wrong? As long as he don't weigh over 133 pounds like we established, everything should be fine, nothing should break. Yeah. Well, lucky for me, I only weigh 195. So, you know, it's only what, 60 pounds over? Hey. Yeah, we'll be fine. I just got a feeling that it's going to go one of two ways, okay? Y'all going to see me go down and up. And it's going to work out perfect. Or you're going to see this winch just go like that, and then I'm going to smash the ground. And it's going to hit you in the head. Yep. Either way, y'all are going to like it. All right. Um, oh, hey. Yeah. Back it up just one more time. 
Back what up? Back to this foot because it's got. Okay, no, 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 we're good. Now we're good. Yeah. And now we're installing our reinforcement bar. Bobby cut out a little slot here on the winch hole. Stuck. Oh, yeah, it's hitting that. That's as yeah. far as it's going to go. We want it set and flat on that side. How do you think we should hook this? We should hook this. Is there any way we can. What? <laughs> like cross. What? Some racket straps. Right, this is this right here. This side right here is what's important. This is going to keep that thing from. It's dirty. I'm, I'll tighten it down just a little bit more. All right, the winch is officially installed. And as you can see here, she's working. Working good. So I'm ready to try it out. I just hope and pray to God. Uh, like, I got faith in the winch. The winch holds 2,000 pounds. I'm not worried about the winch. I'm worried about mine and Bobby's uh, stabilization job. That's what I'm worried about. You know, I, I, this thing here, I ain't it's just the whole, you know, poof, and me going, ah, and then slow motion. And as I'm following, thinking, Bobby sucks. But I'll get it on camera. going to be my last words. I'm screaming as I'm falling 15 foot in the air. I might edit that part out. All right, here we go. Attempt number one with the winch. It's working. Definitely not the most comfortable ride in the world. The winch did not fall and crush my skull. I made it with the winch. I am so glad that I decided to make this invention. Hey, I, I give myself credit. You know, I told Bobby, I said, Bobby, I'm going to let you make the winch because I feel like it's going to work the best. I'm going to make the ladder because I don't feel like the ladder is going to work that well. And I want people to know that you do have a place in this relationship. You don't just stand around and film and talk. Uh, you, I just want the world to see you can make something pretty decent. God dang I was right. That's a load of crap. <laughs> All right, let's say I just pulled up to a big old bonfire. There's lots of people there. They see me pull up in my big truck. They're like, God dang, that's a big old monstrous truck. How is that little short feller going to get out of there without harming himself? I opened the door. I got myself hooked up. They're like, what is he doing? Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, there's no way he's going to do that. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How y'all doing today? Y'all doing all right? Yeah, me? Oh, yeah, I'm just hanging. That's it, you know. Put the truck, me. See, that's style right there. Yeah, everybody gonna want one. Every little fella that's under five foot nine is like, I need me one of them. I'm ready to get my truck, but it's very high. How am I gonna do that? <laughs> Easy. I'm just gonna use the old wings here. Call myself up into my truck. Oh yeah, you see that? Oh yeah, well, that ain't no problem. I'm just gonna pull myself on up. Put this old winch here. Huh, what would you look at that? I got up in this truck, I ain't breathing hard. You know why? Cause I didn't have to use none of my energy. I used my winch. Now I'm gonna do, get in this old truck here. I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna take off. Now, if you don't mind me, I gotta head on over to the patent office and get our idea of patenting. Cause God dang, these suckers right here are gonna be selling like hotcakes. God bless y'all. I love you.